make the poster for your submission. Righto. So I'm going to use Ellie as my guinea pig. Here's her birdhouse. Okay, here's our birdhouse. One thing you should think about before you make any renders and things like that is your are your materials in Fusion. So put some wooden materials on there and make the materials look nice. Alrighty, so if you click, for those new people that might not be super familiar with this, once your birdhouse is totally done, if you click A in Fusion, you can come down and you've got wooden materials and you can drag those wooden materials onto the birdhouse and you'll get, you'll see what the materials look like. All right, one thing though, materials in their default size tend to look a bit wonky, tend to look a bit blurry. So just what I like to do is when you, Whenever you make a new material, double tap it and reduce the scale so that it's slightly smaller and it looks a little more nice and neat. All right, I'll do that with a different one so you can see a little bit better. All right, so there's bamboo, right? Like the grain of the bamboo looks nice. If it's set to the default size, which is 50, see how it just looks blurry and weird? So you don't want that, so double tap, your material, scale, and I reduce it by like half, and you get like a nice proper grain. Okay, good, cool beans. That's how we get our materials to look nice and neat and realistic. Alrighty, now we have our poster template. We are, we don't need to change this layer. We, don't, we can change the background if you like, I suppose. And we're gonna remove this layer. So, we need to replace that birdhouse with our birdhouse. So have a look at that, have a look at that background image and the branch and the tree. And in Fusion, you wanna position your birdhouse so that it could potentially look like it fits on that image. All right, so if I use that angle, it will potentially look like it could fit on the branch, on the trunk of the tree. If I use that angle and I make a rendered image, it doesn't really look like it will belongs on the trunk, yeah? So you gotta, you gotta make sure you position your birdhouse correctly. Right, go to render. So you've got your design option, you can go to render. I would suggest every single person, when you render, you need to change your scene settings and move your focal point all the way to the right. You need to change your exposure setting. This is too dark for the, for the poster. So change your exposure slightly. Or oh, maybe I'll go 10.5, so the shadows aren't quite as full on. Alrighty, there's my, I've got my, I've got a good angle. I've changed my exposure. I've changed my focal point. Then I click render. Click local settings. Make sure you click transparent background. And you should always go roughly a thousand by a thousand. And then click render. Yep, yeah, okay. All right, so here we go. Here's my default birdhouse design, I click the little house symbol to go back to the default view. Go from design to render. Move your birdhouse around to get the right angle. Click on setup, scene settings. All right, 
if so focal point means how zoomed in the camera is right so you obviously don't want a distorted image like this you want to move it all the way to the right hand side whatever your exposure is some people have different settings you just got to look at your photo or look at your render and think whether or not the lighting looks appropriate. So I said it, I change it a little bit so that it looks more appropriate. All right, and all you got to do is play around with the numbers and you're good. Okay, so you go scene setup, scene settings, change your focal point and change your exposure and click close. All right, once you've done that, you got to you need to zoom always zoom into your house okay it's kind of like a little bit of trial and error how close you need to zoom in zoom into your house tap the little teapot you need to go you need to first thing you change is cloud renderer so change it to local renderer you want to make sure you click a transparent background so that when you place the rendered image into Photoshop, there's no background and it's just the birdhouse, right? Transparent background, a thousand by a thousand and click render. Alrighty, when this thing renders, it takes up a lot of processing power. So you should, you should attempt to not do multiple renders, only do one at a time. If you click render, 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 your computer will start to crash. All right, so you need to be patient. Alrighty, once the little green bar in Fusion has finished, you can tap the image, tap the image, and then you can download your picture using the download arrow. Okay, download. Download it to desktop, downloads, wherever you want to go. Okay, and once you've done that, this is the point where you place your birdhouse in, view in Photoshop. Here is my Photoshop file. I need to go to my layers. Make sure you, you're thinking about where you place it. So you want to place it here. File, place linked. So that was saved in downloads. Okay. So there's my image. I can move it around a little bit. I want to make it slightly larger. All right. Don't worry about whether or not it looks 100% accurate like it's actually on the brand on the on the tree. You just want to position it to get it to look nice. Alrighty, so there, there's my, there's my photo plonked on top of the tree. There's my rendered image. Looks good, it looks like an actual birdhouse. The lighting is nice, all that's good. Now the final thing you've got to do is just change your name. Okay, this font though, is not on your computer. You need to, this is the font. This is that little handwritten squiggly font down the bottom. Okay, it's available in the same place that the poster is. Download that font, double tap, and make sure it's installed before you do the next thing or else you won't be able to write your name, okay? And then we write write your name. Ellie. Ellie, how do I spell your last name? M A G. Yeah. L A S. I S. All right, Ellie. I will send this one to you. You're done, okay? No problem. All right. Save the poster as a JPEG and you are good to go. I will print these and we will have nice big quality printouts of your birdhouse posters when we get back to school.
All right, who's got a question about that? Who's, yes. I'm not doing that. All right, any questions? Anybody? 